Hi guys, my name is Liana and today I'm going to be filming my first rant review. Um, I have my notes in my favorite yellow um, notebook that I always write everything in. And today I'm going to be talking about After by Anna Todd. No, okay, I read this book uh, maybe three years ago when I was in the 12th grade and like my friend loaned it to me. And I absolutely hated this book. And the only reason why I'm talking about this book is because I recently heard that they're coming out with a movie for it. Like, you know, like for real this time, not like last time where she was like hoping that Daniel Sherman and that other girl will like, you know, be in the movie. But like, no, like she's casting, like the casting already happened and everything. And I just think that the movie doesn't, the book doesn't deserve a movie. Like, in my personal opinion, the book does not deserve a movie. And so, I'm going to be just ranting about it and talking about why I feel like the book was trash and why it doesn't deserve to be a movie or why an Anna Todd doesn't deserve, like, deserves to be sued by Harry Styles. So, basically, if you don't know with, um, what After by Anna Todd is, you are the luckiest person in this world. But also, I am going to be doing spoilers. I mean, obviously, but I just want to throw that out there just in case like spoilers happen and something like I'm like, oh my god, you spoiled it. I don't know why anybody would want to read the book, but whatever. Anyways, so basically, After is a book with absolutely no plot whatsoever. Like, it's just about this girl who goes to college and she meets Harry Styles, aka Harden, and um, yeah, she meets Harden and then. Um, she has a boyfriend by the way she meets Harden and they have sex all the time and they argue all the time like, that's literally what the book is about the book is basically just about like lust and Harden manipulate and Tessa the movie comes the movie was supposed to come out in 2014 apparently but then it got canceled for who knows why and then now it's back on um, Daniel Sherman was supposed to play Harden, but, you know, by the grace of God, he declined. Um, I would decline, too, if I were him. Like, that was the smartest choice ever. Like, honestly, if he was in, um, if he was in after, it would literally ruin his career. The book is literally just garbage in a thousand pages. Like, the whole book is basically just slut-shaming, um, abusive alcohol, manipulating, and sex. Like, that's literally all the book is. Honestly, like, I don't understand why anybody would love this book so much because Harden treats Tessa like trash. And he knows he treats her like trash. And there's even points in the book where he, like, admits that he treats her bad. And he says that he's going to treat her bad. He says he's going to ruin her life. And she's still like, oh, my God. Like, why is he treating me like this? Like, oh, my gosh. Like, I still love him, though. And he also uses her lust for him because they're not in love. They have no reason to be in love. Like... They have no reason to be in love. He uses her lust for him to control her. That's how this book works. Like, he controls her. And I just want to point out that you can write a bad boy story without having a bad boy being manipulative, like, super, super dominating, like, like being a crazy person. Like, you can write a bad boy story without it being, like, you know, him being evil, basically. Like, he's bad. He's not evil. Like... He, like, okay, with, um, The Kiss and Booth that recently just came out on, um, Netflix. This is not a good example. It's not going to be an example. Like, in that, in that movie, um, Noah was supposed to be, like, a bad boy. But he really wasn't. Like, the only thing that happened in the book, I mean, the only thing that happened in the movie was that he got into fights all the time. He got into, like, three fights in the beginning of the movie. He almost fought his brother, like, twice. Um... He's a womanizer, which you don't really see him, like, you see girls, like, swooning over him, but you only see him, like, talking to, like, two girls throughout the whole movie. And, like, he's, like, a bad boy and a player, but they don't show that, you know? Like, I mean, it's obviously supposed to be a bad boy, whatever. And, like, in, and, um, after, Harden's supposed to be a bad boy, but, like, he's not. He's just mean. He's mean to her. He's a terrible person. He's a terrible human being. And he knows it. And she knows it. And she's still with him. Like, there's so many arguments throughout the book. And there's so many, like... <sighs> Y'all, I literally have, like... Hate, like, I have pages. 
I have a whole page front and back written on why this book is complete trash. Like, yes, it's that bad. It's that bad. Okay, so Tessa was a Christian in the book. And, like, she was a virgin in the beginning of the book. And she had a boyfriend. She had a boyfriend. Like, she had a man. And as soon as she got to, like, her boyfriend didn't want to have sex with her because, you know, he was just such a big Christian. And he was just such a good guy, you know. Uh, apparently nice guys finish glass all the time because as soon as as soon as Tessa got to college she was like having sex like she wasted no time having sex with Harden like none whatsoever like you waited 18 19 years you are a virgin and you meet Harden and like you just she had a boyfriend and she cheated on him. It wasn't like, oh, like I'm, I'm going to college. I want to experience new things. Like, I think I just want to break up. Like, no. She cheats on that boy for Harden. I'm pretty sure she uses another character to make Harden jealous. Um, Whatever, like, Zane's character name was, I'm pretty sure she used him to make um Harden jealous. Now, I'm not completely sure because I haven't read this book in three years, but... I'm pretty sure she used Zane's character to make Harden jealous. This book isn't even, like, a dark, mysterious book. Like, you know, like, the book where she doesn't know much about the guy and she wants to find out. And she's just like, I guess Beautiful Creatures. I haven't read the book, but I did watch the movie. And in that, in that book, the girl was so dark and mysterious. And, like, the guy just wants to find more out about her because it was just something about her, you know? This was not that book. Harden was not dark and mysterious. He was just keeping secrets. Like, I feel like there's a difference between being mysterious and having secrets. And he was having, that boy was having secrets. He had some secrets. And the book is not like Romeo and Juliet where it's like a beautiful tragedy. Like, where they argue all the time. But they're just so in love. And like, they just can't agree on things all the time. Like, you know, 24-7. But they were so in love with each other that they just couldn't break up. Like, no. No, he was mentally abusing her, verbally abusing her. Like, he tore Tessa apart. Like, like, like it wasn't like, where it's like, oh my gosh, we argue all the time, but I still love you. Like, he made her feel like trash. Like, he made her out to be trash. He did her so... Where did that accent come from? He did her so dirty. She makes the actual Harry Styles look bad. Like, when I was researching, like, for this video, like, I was just looking up comments. Like, I seen so many people that said that they couldn't see Harry the same after reading this. Or they were so scared of him after reading this. And, like, I know she said, like, when the book came out that there wasn't going to be, like, any, like, no one was going to know that it was about Harry Styles. But, like, every time, like, as soon as she got new, sis opened her mouth and was like, this book was originally Harry Potter, Harry Potter, this book was originally Harry Styles fan fiction. And then, like, every time you see the word after, you see the word Harry Styles. Like, she said that she didn't want it. Like, she, that's what she said. Like, it wasn't going to be about him, but clearly it was. And clearly, she's still, like, trying to push for this movie because she wants the money. And I'm pretty sure he dislikes her now. Like, I, I personally think that Harry Styles should sue her for, um, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that he should sue her because she's making him look so bad. I think I heard that he blocked her on um, Twitter or Instagram or something. I would block her too. I want to block her now. I, I wanted to block her after reading the story for the first time. The editor obviously didn't give a shit. He, the editor obviously did not care about the book because there were so many sentence mistakes and grammar errors. I was like, I heard that. After was like Fifty Shades of Grey, but with Harry Styles, and like Fifty Shades of Grey was trash within itself. And then, okay, so I was looking up, I was looking up um, reviews on Goodreads just to see what like other people were saying on this stuff. And lo and behold, I see Colleen Hoover, the queen of manipulative, dominating, mentally abusive writing men, gave this book five stars. I just can't. Like, when I seen that, I was like, of course, of course, Colleen Hoover, the queen of mentally abusive, writing mentally abusive man, gave this story a five stars. So, like, I really took my time to um, really write this rant review because this is something that, like, 
it angers me that this book is so popular. It's not like I hate um, Anna Todd and like she's just a terrible person, which she probably is. Um, it's not like I'm bashing a book or anything, but it's the fact that this book sends the wrong message. And a lot of young Harry Styles, Harry, I almost said Harry Potter like 15 times in this video. A lot of people who love Harry Styles or One Direction would read this book. And a lot of those girls are really young and it sends them the wrong message that because a guy mentally abuses you or gets jealous of you all the time or like like uses like controls you or uses you for sex that he loves you and that's not it. Like there are so many guys out there who will treat you so good. I would I wouldn't know because I never had a boyfriend before. But you know, there's so many guys out there who will treat you so good. And I don't think any girl deserves to be treated the way that Harden treats Tessa. And I don't know why they would want to be treated that way. You Like, you know? And so I don't want anyone to think that I just hate this book because it was One Direction fan fiction. I think that fan fiction is really great. And I heard that Twilight was... Wait. I heard that... Like, I feel like everything comes from fan fiction. I mean... After it was basically a Fifty Shades of Grey fan fiction, like, you know, rewritten and, like, made into Harry Styles. And Fifty Shades of Grey was a, um, a Twilight fan fiction that got turned into an actual book. Like, there are, like, fan fiction is so great. And there are so many, like, actual good fan fiction out there that do deserve to be, like, actual stories or movies on Netflix or mini TV shows or any other book on Wattpad because there are so many very good creators but it's when you write characters like Harden is where I have an issue where you write characters that abuse women and manipulate women and are so misogynistic and like they have all these girls swooning over him it to me it sends the wrong message but I don't want anyone to feel like like you know if you like this book that you should feel bad I mean if you like like you know everyone to each is their own you know and I just want to like People who are subscribed to me and who actually like that book, I don't know how many, but like I just want to send them a message that, you know, if you like are in that kind of relationship, you don't have to deal with that. And I know it, it's going to be hard to get out of it, but it's not something that you should want and you should fantasize over at all. And um, anyway, so I'm going to end this video with a couple of funny memes that I found on Twitter of the book because they were hilarious and they had me dying and and then i'm going to leave um a, a list of signs that a guy is abusive like you know down here somewhere um yes just in case anyway so i'm finally gonna shut up talking now because it's been i've been talking for 19 whole minutes wow so yeah um you guys like my ninja turtles pajama pants i am obsessed with the ninja turtles like I love the Ninja Turtles, so, um, yeah, I feel like it's a YouTuber thing to, like, have it all dressed up and, you know, makeup and then, like, pajama pants. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. I'm promise, like, I don't want people to see me as a negative Nancy, even though I am. That's just not how I want to be seen. Anyways, um, please like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos if you would like to, and... I still don't have an outro, so bye.